there's some qualities I really liked about the film. There's some things in the film that I thought were well done and well executed. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of The Gist where we discuss Nollywood films and African cinema. My name is Adi. And my name is Kayode. So today we have another film to review and it's none other than Moth to a Flame. This was directed by One Soul and written by J.P. Wordsmith. This is a story of a beautiful woman who gets into a bit of trouble in the sense that her father is ill and she needs to pay um, the hospital bills. Her father being a taxi driver, she has a bright idea and decides to start driving the taxi. In doing that, she gets into a collision with um, an arrogant businessman who takes a liking to her and says, why don't you be my driver? And a lot ensues, and we shall discuss. <laughs> There's some qualities I really liked about the film. There are some yeah. things in the film that I thought were well done and well executed. But then it leaves me asking some questions about some other aspects that, well, so if you could get these parts right, why didn't you pay attention to the other? I mean, like, I, I loved what they were trying to do between the, her parents, you know, the tender moments between the parents. But then sometimes they made it seem like it was an obsolete. So you weren't sure whether he was doing it because he was a good man or because they didn't establish characters properly. Mm. Now, when the film did pick up, I liked what the story was trying to do. I liked the story was trying to tell. I don't think it executed it very well in some places. Kiki O'Malley, I think she was, this was one of her better films. She came to life a bit in this film. Um, I loved um, that like brash girl, like yeah. I'm tough, I can handle myself mm. and finding it difficult to give into her emotions. Well, I, I loved it. There were some parts that I think either were not needed or some characters that were not needed or were like just superfluous or didn't convince me why they were needed. Her, she, her twin brother was supposed to be in the film. Um, and I didn't get why she needed a twin brother. It, it didn't seem pertinent to the story. It could have been an older, a younger brother. It could have been a friend. Do you understand? Is it, yeah. Sometimes I think when you make a character something, there's an advantage to making that person, that either the twin or a younger brother. Yeah. With this, I didn't see it could have been her neighbor. Yeah, well, I think for me, I, I, well, I, I think that's the beauty of storytelling in the sense that it could be anyone, but he played a role which was the voice of reason. So whenever she wanted to make a decision, she would always go back to the brother in order to voice his opinion. So to me, that didn't really bother me as much. One of the things that did bother me was the fact that I was trying to, trying to resolve in my head whether, is this a comedy or is this a drama? Yeah. It kept bouncing around, like there's some parts, and I think the music didn't help. So when you're putting incidentals in a movie and you're playing a comedic movie on top of a dramatic scene, then, you know, there's a disconnect. So you, you, part of your brain is like, you want to laugh, and part of your brain is like, I need to be serious. Yeah. Like, yeah. Come on. Uh, let me just, sorry, sorry, let me say something about genre. I've increasingly noticed that it seems we, a lot of our films don't understand the concept of genre. Now, genre in itself, the, most films flirt between multiple genres, but they always have a main one, which is why they tend to list the main one first, so they call it drama thriller, or drama comedy, or romantic comedy. But if you understand how genre works, it builds expectation in the audience. So when you watch the classic Western, and I use the word classic um, intentionally, you expect the bar fight, you expect, because it's part of the genre. Now, what that does, it, it makes it easy when you then want to do dramatic Western to take it out. So the audience knows this is probably a more serious film. And that's what dramatic or, or sorry, genre cliches do. They help you understand what kind of film you're, you're watching and what expectation to build. So when you're doing emotional drama and you introduce comedic either tempo or comedic music, you're confusing the audience. You're telling them this is a moment that your heart is going to break but you can laugh as well so what it does is there's this disconnect in your mind as to what emotion you're trying to get at that time and it takes you out of the film and i think we need to start understanding genre you can even break the rules but you need to understand it first before you know what rules to break yeah. i mean that being said there are two actors that stood out for me femi jacobs being one. brilliant yeah um he he's he's just brilliant in the way he 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 effortlessly just acts 
but he doesn't act. He's just yeah, taking he's... on the character. So he, he's just brilliant. Um, you might disagree with me, but I really liked the um, character of um, Kiki's mother. Yeah, she, yeah. When you watch most of our Nigerian films, what you find out is when somebody dies, there's all the yeah, yeah, yeah. But she did that, but she did it with more. She, it was believable. Yeah, you, yeah. You could feel her pain. Yeah. In in um uh, in some of the scenes that were, were were ensued, and it was just beautiful to watch. Yeah, I, I completely agree because there's there's it, there was one um scene particularly where. Um, I think something had happened and the way she was eating or something like that and she yeah. went from her food to picking the phone and there was a gesture she made and it yeah. just reminded me of my mom. Mm. She made one yeah. gesture and it just took me back to my mom. She, my mom got hates being interrupted from her food and and she's my mom is a very private person and when things like that happen, something, so she has that gesture. I, I don't know how to make it, but yeah. she has that gesture she makes like, what's all this? And when she made that gesture, I just it just took me back to my childhood. Yeah. No, I, I think she played it brilliantly well and I, I really enjoyed um, the parts when she was in the film. Shafi Bello as oh, usual. As she's usual, just, yeah. Uh, she's just a breath of fresh air. She just commands presence in a scene and yeah. it's just beautiful to watch. The girlfriend um, of Femi Jacobs. What did do for me? No, sorry. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it, there was... There, she... I don't want to say she was trying too hard because, I mean, you expect actors to try hard. Yeah. But it's what I would say to probably explain that is to say a lot of the acting was on the surface. There was a little, there was very little subtlety. Where I might shift a tiny, weeny bit of blame to the director is maybe they got caught in that genre thing of where she was more comedic in her actions mm. rather than... Tre and I think... Look, stick, put your stick in the ground. Let the actors know this is a, a drama or let them know it's a comedy yeah. or a romantic comedy that's not that funny or maybe this scene is not that funny. Mm. And um, so for me, I probably won't put most of that blame on her. I'll, I'll probably put it more on the director because I think if the director's watching through the monitors or the, the rushes at the take because no, 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 no. This is not what I wanted. This is what I want. But then having said that, you also expect an actor to know the mood of a film and yeah. what to bring. So maybe the, the blame is shared actually. What's your verdict? Um, it had nice moments. It, it, there were some issues with a little bit of audio. Um, some of the scenes didn't, were either too short or too long. Um, but it was still a good watch. I, I, I enjoyed it to some extent. It wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad film. It just was a film that had more potential than they delivered. So I would say it was a, it's a nice to watch. Same here. I think it was nice to watch. Um, a lot could have been done to improve the film. I mean, the story the story was plausible. It was, yeah, def it was something that was definitely believable, but could have been worked out a little bit better. Yeah. But that being said, please head on over to nollywoodbeliever.com where you can see a full-length review of this movie. Um, engage with us on Facebook, like, share, on YouTube, subscribe, and on Twitter. Engage with us, follow us. Um, let us know how we're doing. Thank you for all your support and we really appreciate Hi guys and welcome to another episode of The Gist where we discuss African films and Nollywood films. That is not how we say it, we do it one more time. Ready, steady, go.